This is a sting house in Glendale, California. For two straight days, our team at Trilogy Media, in collaboration with Courtney Elizabeth, rigged this house with hidden cameras and security and posed as young children online for would-be child predators to show up, thinking they were there to have sex with a child. Instead, they're confronted by us, as well as the Glendale Police Department, who would take them away and put them where they belong. From this Stinghouse weekend, we've posted two videos on our channel, catching two separate child predators red-handed. Elmer, a 32-year-old with kids of his own, and Juan, a 28-year-old who showed up with a tattoo gun. Both showed up to this house to meet who they thought was a 13-year-old girl for sex. Both were on drugs. Juan even had some with him. Source. And both were arrested and charged accordingly. But there's something else about this weekend that you might not know. Both Juan and Elmer's arrests happened on the same day, just a couple hours apart from each other, both on the very first day of running our stinghouse. The rest of that day and the entire second day were entirely more nerve wracking than the actual confrontations. These are the predators that were a lot more skeptical. These were the predators who were lurking in the shadows outside. And these are the predators that have definitely done this before. As a team in this sting house, our first priority is safety, always. And while confronting these predators face to face is exhilarating and satisfying, nothing can quite compare to the feeling of being locked in a house at night when a very experienced and dangerous predator says that he's here looking at the house, but refuses to come to the door and show his face. While we try to stay one step ahead, he remains unseen, lurking in the shadows, ready to strike at any moment. And this wasn't just once. This happened over and over again over the course of this weekend and served to be tremendously eye-opening to not only these predators' intentions, but also the ways they manipulate children to get what they want. Sit back and join us on this terrifying journey of running a predator stinghouse in this special edition episode of Trilogy vs. Predator. This video is sure to be demonetized, as all of our Predator videos are. According to YouTube, it's a controversial issue. So we're not gonna earn any of our expenses back from these videos. In my opinion, this issue isn't controversial at all. It's actually pretty fucking clear what's right and what's wrong here. Children can't consent, don't prey on them. There, controversy solved. But alas, I'm forced to explain this time and time again for some fucking reason. When you go into the comments sections of some of these videos, you can clearly see the kind of poisonous pond scum that make these conversations necessary and repetitive. And these people have driver's licenses and vote. But monetization aside, as long as we don't go bankrupt, these videos will always be important to us and we will never stop making them. Before we get to some of the crazy shit that's about to happen, if you do want to support us, there's two things that you can do. The first thing is to check out our very own streaming platform. It's called Trilogy Plus. It's at TrilogyPlus.com or there's a bunch of apps for it, including Apple and Android. Of all of our social media platforms, this is the one and only place that we can upload content to without having to worry about adhering to guidelines. I swear to God, if we get banned on TikTok for cyberbullying one more time, I'm gonna shit a picnic table. At Trilogy Plus, we can be completely raw, honest, and unrestricted with what we post. And no one can take that away from us or take that away from you. This video you're watching right now shows a lot of stuff behind the curtain, but the new episode of Beyond the Sting on Trilogy Plus holds nothing back. Dropping on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, exclusively on Trilogy Plus. The interview clips you're gonna see in this video, you can see the complete and uncensored full interviews over at Trilogy Plus from the whole team about this entire weekend experience. Dropping this Friday, March 17th. You'll even see some ways we were able to have some fun despite the darkness of the situation at hand. Your beauty is not something simple. Your beauty sweetens the world. You can't measure because your beauty is infinite, woman. <laughs> 
You can even watch my podcast, Dexter's Debriefs, where I break down not only the experience of making these episodes, but bluntly address the public reception to these videos and some of the backlash that came with it, plus countless other things. It's very simple. There's an all access subscription. You get to watch everything anytime you want, and you can try it seven days for free. Hundreds of hours of original content to watch and more being added every single week. And there's also now a completely free subscription option that gives you access to a free playlist of select videos that rotate over time. And that is free forever. No billing info needed. And the entire Dexter's Debriefs playlist is on the free account, by the way. Go have a look. It would mean the world to us. The second thing you can do is by doing yourself a favor by getting the Guardio browser extension at guard.io slash trilogy. Guardio is our exclusive security partner. And because of them, we're able to give our viewers what we believe to be the best real-time browsing protection that you can find, and we can keep making this kind of content. Guardio scans every website I go to and everything I download, looking for anything malicious and blocking it before it can do me or my computer any harm. But you have to use our link. It's guard.io slash trilogy. You'll get seven days to try it for free and 20% off the entire cost just for using that link. And what does it cost? A few cups of coffee. And you'll immediately get 24 seven real time protection while you surf the web. It's that simple. And it's not just for you. You can add your family members on there too. You can add up to five family members for free onto your account at no extra charge. Get your whole family protected, including your parents and your grandparents. We focus a lot on scams on this channel. It's important to protect our elders. Guardio installs in seconds, and as soon as you get it, it's gonna give you a free health report of your browser and will identify any malicious sites you've visited recently or any data leaks that include your personal info. But you've gotta use our link for the discount, guard.io slash trilogy. The internet is dangerous. Everybody needs a bodyguard, guard.io slash trilogy. New day. We got a scary motherfucker coming here in a couple hours. I'm gonna take his ass down. Stinghouse, day two, here we go. Day two, shit show. Sunday. Yeah, I say it like that. Multiple predators had the address at the same time. There is a predator out there that can be sniffing around, scooping around our stinghouse. Day two it made for a day that was 10 times as stressful because they weren't showing up. And what that created was a dynamic where multiple predators had the address at the same time. So it made the house double and triple hot. It also meant that we couldn't enter or exit the house pretty much all day long. And it also meant that at any given moment while we were there in the house, a predator could be standing outside or walking around the property or anything like that. So much tension. We had a lot of people. I think there at one point there were six different people on the line with Courtney uh, supposed to like hang out and come over that day, right? Day one was a lot more controlled where we like could block off this hour to this hour. This person has the address. We know they're gonna be here between this amount of time. The house is now hot. No one go outside. No one do anything crazy. Let's not be too loud. By day two, complete shit show. Multiple predators had the address at once. We didn't know who was coming and going. We had guys saying they were outside. We had guys saying they were on their way. We literally had a guy outside just pacing back and forth in front of the house, like right there on the corner. I mean, it was probably the most nerve wracking experience out of all of it. Ready for the biggest alarm clock you've ever seen? Yeah, get off the gong, get oh, to Celsius. Oh, no. oh, no. The fucking wristwatch was it's bigger like, than this. It's like a key, it's like a keychain. What the fuck? I know. <laughs> Actually, it's gotta be perfect. I mean, yeah, sure. It's gonna be perfect because the second angle is a little more inconspicuous. Yeah, but Jesus Christ. I know, it's a keychain clock. <laughs> it's tiny. Sunday was supposed to start out with Freddy at 11 a.m. Freddy was a guy that Courtney said from the very beginning that this, this is the guy of all the predators this weekend, the one I'm most concerned about for, for safety and, and creep factor. Personally, I had been on edge about Freddie since Thursday when I very first read his 
messages. Freddie is the kind of guy who's like not even trying to just go to like have sex with a child, which is like obviously terrible. He like had other ill intentions. And that's the guy that we really wanted to get. Freddie was the one I was most excited about catching. Um, and he was the one that was being the creepiest. And he's the one I would put money on showed up. <laughs> He's the one with only the two default pictures. Okay. Yeah, and he wants in another. I asked for more, and then he doesn't talk to me for two or three days. Weird. So I don't even know. If and he's, he's very pushy about the address. Like, yeah. Very, oh, can I, like, and we can give it to me. Yeah, picking her up. So, and the thing is, we don't know what he looks like. Right. No. Like, he could, those well, could not be. It's a verified too. photo, but it's hard. it could be a verified photo of anything. My photos yeah. are verified on those apps too, and they look. Oh, me too. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> was the only one that refused to send extra photos of himself. He only had like the one or two on his profile, which were not very descriptive. Um, he was the only one that was as old as he was from the weekend, I believe 50s or 60s. The one that pushed the hardest for the address from day one talking to Courtney. He's also the only one that insisted on picking her up from school. And yes, the, the sexual things he had to say in his messages were absolutely horrendous, but the stuff that worried me about Freddie is how much he focused on wanting her location every other day. Can you give me the address? Can you give me the address? Can we meet up? Where do you go to school? What time do you get out of school? I'd love to pick you up sometime. Uh, and, and she actually one time had to be like, this was a little creepy. <laughs> And he backed it off a little bit, but then a, a couple days later, I'd love to pick you up from school. All the while, he now claims that his car has been broken into and is being repaired and now he doesn't have a car. So send me the address because I can't get to you now anyway, but I can see how long the Uber ride will take. So he just had a lot of red flags that were redder than all the other flags of all the other predators. We also figured that he's probably the one that's most experienced doing this, so giving him the address is gonna make this house extra hot because you know he's gonna show up early, you know he's gonna scope it out, and he's gonna be extra creepy um, in doing so. This guy felt like he just wanted the address to stalk this 13 year old to take her when he wanted to. That was my vibe, I'm not saying that was what's gonna happen. Luckily, we don't know that, but it gave me, I had just had the worst vibe from that first set of logs on Freddie, and I personally, and I didn't shut up about it, it probably annoyed everybody on set, because I was like, this guy, you guys, I'm telling you, he, and I was like, I don't think he's gonna show up, I think he just wants the address, and he's gonna creep himself around the house. Um, he was so hardcore and wanting to know who's home. Is it just you and your mom? Does she have a boyfriend? Like all of these things that felt to me like a Dateline special or a trilogy special that we don't want to do. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
Yeah, it sucks that there's no predator face to face, it sucks that there's no arrest, but there's still something to be said here about the behavior of these predators and everything that happened on day two. Day two had a lot more uh, conversations between Courtney and the predators, not just by text, but over the phone. Shower together. I'll take another one. <laughs> you, yeah? Mm hmm. I just won't wash my hair oh. the second time. Oh. 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 Yeah. So, what are you doing? Nothing. Do you want to hang out today Nothing. still? Oh. Yeah, I was. Uh, I think I'll go. I'm sorry? Yeah. Yeah. So, what are you. So where are you going right now? I'm at home. Hmm? How far away do you live from Glendale again? Like 30? Uh, well, with, right now with the uh, traffic and the uh, rainy, um, around half an hour to 40 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. And you Uber here or is your car fi like fixed? Um, I'm not sure if I can call Uber or leave. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on and do my hair and then I'll send you the address and then just let me know when you're when you get in the Lyft or Uber. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, what do you wanna do? We can do what we talked about or what do you wanna do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, are you okay? To, are you okay to have sex? Yeah, I'll try it. You wanna try it? Yeah, but I'm nervous because. What if it hurts? Um, I can put, I can put it inside my trolley. Slowly? Yeah. Okay, we can try that. Or, or, we can have only oral sex. Oral? You want to do that? Or both? Um, I will try both. Do you have, oh. do you have condoms? Um, you want me to go buy some condo? If you can, but I don't know. How about you? Do, do, do you have it? No. Or your mom? Um, I don't have condoms. How about your mom? No. Oh, uh, so you really want to have sex? Yeah, I'll try it, but we can just do oral if it ends up hurting too much. Well, yeah, but I, I, can, I can put a little bit inside there. And inside your pussy, and then I take them out. Okay, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm. I'm already really excited. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Mhm. Mm are you Are you wet? Not right now. Not right now. I'm sure you'll make right. make me wet though in right, person. I will make you. How? What are you gonna do? What I'm gonna eat you, eat you, and I'm gonna touch you. I'm gonna flip your teeth, and I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna eat your pussy. Okay. Sound good. Sound good. Oh, okay, beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful. Yeah. 
Oh, you're beautiful, baby. Oh, thank you. Mi amor. You're welcome, you're welcome mi amor. Alright, I'll, I'm gonna get ready and then I'll send you the address. Okay. Alright. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, bye. Alright, bye. Love you. He said, he said love you. Is he gone? He's gone, he's gone. He, he incriminated himself really bad just now. Alright, we have everything. Shit. Yeah. So even if he runs, we have everything, yeah. and we yeah. just need to get. His oh life. my god! And he has it. He took. He's taking an Uber, so he's not gonna run. No. He'll have no, nowhere to go. No oh my god! No, he's fucked. He's fucked big time. Oh fuck! No, these we. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Freddy is oh my. ready. That just Freddy's ready. Freddy's ready. Freddy's ready. Freddy's ready. <laughs> it's gonna be a little different today for me. Yeah. That was uh, hearing that. Disturbing. I wish yeah, Sean this... had heard that. Dude, you have goosebumps. I yeah. yeah. Oh, I have fucking this, goosebumps. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Three of us. Yeah. Oh, it's one thing to read it, but but another thing to hear it. Let me let him in. Yeah. Holy this shit! This Holy shit! Yeah. How? Oh, how? Oh, it's so hard to bite my tongue. How the fuck do you let? Uh. Because uh. Who wants to call Michael? What happened? The most disturbing phone call. Freddy. She just talked to Freddie. And it was. So bad. I had to play it for me. Look, at, look at my goosebumps. Oh, shit. We can do what we talked about. Or what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'll try it. You want to try it? Yeah. But I'm nervous because what if it hurts? I mean, I've heard enough. Okay. That's good. It gets a lot worse, but yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm good. I don't have the fucking head of this shit anyway. Fuck, man. Oh. Do you see how nervous I was? I was like moving my hands so much. Well, when because I was this, you, you just you know that this one, yeah. <laughs> So she says, I have a cousin that quick stopped by because she's leaving town for a few weeks and she's just saying hi and hanging for a second. He then in turn asks for a photo of her and her cousin. Courtney comes in, she's like, hey, can you take a quick photo for me? So we did a photo. She did our her young magic on us. A few minutes later, she comes in and says, Freddie wants to know if you're gonna stay. Yeah, I took a photo of you you know, to push him off, say, oh, my cousin's here. He said, you're beautiful, how old is she? And I just told him you were 14, and he's like, is she gonna be staying with us? So, <laughs> I, I said, I said, I don't know, up to you, what do you want? You know, we'll see. I, I asked him, do you want that? I said, do you want her to stay with you? He said, if she wants to, ask her. She says she's dead. Where's Art? This, yeah. yeah. Some good shit. <laughs> so I said 14. He said, Is she staying with us? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, what do you want? He's like, Ask her to stay. Yeah. So I'm going to be on the couch. Double decoy. Mm -hmm. So look, when this guy gets in the house, like, so it's after 13 hours. Confront him. You know, he mm -hmm. wanted her to stay. Yeah. He's. Yeah. And I think that's he gonna... is. Fuck yeah. gloriously. Uh, I need to jump in to do this. This isn't, uh, I mean, it's terrifying and especially terrifying because it's the person that for whatever reason deep in my soul I was concerned about this whole time. Uh, but it's also important because if he's willing to meet with two minors at once, that could be two different charges. So I was like, I'll, I'll do it. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I just tried to follow Courtney's lead, but uh, I became a last minute possible decoy. <laughs> Jesus. He just texted wow. and said, who wants to go, who wants to go first? I you know, or who her? wants to go for first? 
So what's going to happen is this is Courtney. Hi. She's going to be Hi. she's going to be the only one in the room. Okay. okay. No more. With Amanda. Well, okay, that's true. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, this first one is going to be actually both of them. They're both pretending to be young. Right. The rest of us are going to be hiding in the room, and then you hiding over here. Yeah, if you could just take a look at There's a horror here. Okay. <laughs> she's going to let him in, sit down on the couch, and they're going to talk for maybe two or three minutes. Okay. There's a code word. It's pizza. When she brings up pizza, yeah. you come out. Everyone comes out, uh, and we're going to conf we're going to confront the guy. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Then take a picture of his ID right. with him in the background, like he's sitting. Right. Just take a picture like this. And you can just of his ID it. and then take his ID and then come stand over here call the and make the phone call and just keep an eye out on him if he does anything crazy. Then at that point, the most important thing is getting the the police here as fast as possible. Yeah. How are you um, feeling? This one's gonna go on the wall right Great. here. Decoy number one. Number one. Go on the wall. First right. time you've ever done a double decoy? Uh, Never. Mm -hmm. So again, just keep Pop Tart is the in front of the not there. Point. Pop Tart's here. How you feeling? You okay? I'm I'm doing all right. First time I can feel decoying it in the here. butterflies. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be so rewarding though. <sighs> Get this guy fucking put in jail. Yeah, uh, especially it's Chris. Especially this one. Like yeah. I'm just, yeah. eleven minutes. This one is eleven minutes away. Yes. Okay. Um, eleven minutes away. So we can assume that he would. Yeah. Fly. This is Weasel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are waiting at our sting house. Yeah. He's eleven minutes away. <laughs> this is an older guy, the most dangerous one. No, As of this one. weekend's confrontations, he's expecting for, uh, for a threesome from twelve or thirteen. Are you thirteen and fourteen? Thirteen and fourteen. New development. Old. As of an hour ago, yeah, uh, he thinks he's going to be hooking up with uh, thirteen-year-old uh, Courtney's character as well as Amanda's fourteen-year-old uh, cousin character. Mm -hmm. yeah. You never know; he could be here early scoping Maybe up the house. He's already like somewhere else. Yeah. So, um, about time to get into position. Yeah. Let's go. Confront yeah. this motherfucker. Just sitting there, he had the address at this point. Me and Courtney in the living room, guys in the control room just waiting, listening. It is uh, are you guys virgins? Those were text messages. This was after he had the address claiming he was over um, and wanting to to he was on his way. <laughs> And this guy was so persistent on trying to get the address from Courtney for like like months. Like Courtney had been talking to this guy for a long time. And like honestly, since like day one she was talking to him, he's trying to get her address. Now we've finally given this guy the address to the to the house, and we don't know who the fuck is gonna show up. Like we don't know what's going to happen. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Look at you, Pop Tart. Ten years ago, we cannot even bring you in front of the camera. Now you have your own live streams. Now you like now you're decoying decoy this decoying. subject. Well, I got me get my another episode of my show going. Yeah, you do. I never yeah. used to be able to live decoy. I was so afraid. I'm like, Chris, when we do this, I'm never live decoying. Now I do it. Seriously, yesterday I sat on the other side of the wall and I was like, I don't know if I can sit out there with her, like who she is. No, I feel better because I'm with you. Mm -hmm. If I was. By I yourself, you will be most stressed. Like you don't even have to say anything, you know? Uh, yeah, no. But because you know that she's here and that's what makes you Yeah, because I'm doing with somebody who knows what they're exactly. doing. Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. Well, who went and said he was 26 minutes away and it's 12.20. So he could be here any minute, so... It's six, five minutes. <coughs> yeah. So this will be our... This will be our third... catch at this house this weekend. This is day two. We were gonna have a third last night, but the guy never showed up. He might come later today, but we have this third one. And this was the one we were the most concerned about, just based on the kind of person he is and the things that he was saying, his age, his elusive behavior as far as refusing to send additional photos, not really being able to confirm his identity. We have no idea what this guy is capable of. Also, we have a new guard today because we had a little problem with the previous guy not showing up. And then Amanda's doing her first live decoy, so there's a lot of a lot of uh, unknowns, but um, one thing I know for sure is that we are prepared, and uh, we're going to give it our all, and um, thank you guys for allowing us to do this. He just started disappearing after she said that, we, that uh, her and her cousin were both virgins and that he was about 20 minutes out. He stopped messaging back, so sitting there and um, waiting in the silence. Yeah. He might just come up and knock. Okay. Good. 
should be here any minute. Any updated ETA on your end, Sean? No updates on my end, but considering time, he could be here any moment. Got it. Just to let you guys know, there's an Amazon delivery driver. He's right outside the house right now. Okay, Punish says there's an Amazon. Copy that. There's an Amazon delivery driver outside the house right now. where he wants that address and he is going to come here when he feels like this is my moment I can maybe he's just watching it could be days he could be watching for a while yeah hey Connor any uh, suspicious activity outside no I said is there any suspicious activity outside He's, I guarantee you, he's scoping the place right now. Okay. He's gotta be. I think he has to be here. There's, if he's, he's, there's two options. He's here right now, or he's coming at his own terms later at a surprise outing. Hey, Connor, just to give him an update, we're texting the guy right now and telling him that the cousin is going to be leaving um, just to get an idea where he's at. He wanted the address. He asked for the address more than he did for any kind of nude photo or anything else. Mm -hmm. Every instinct in my body said he is going to go dead cold once he gets the address. Oh, and if he wants to show up, he will, but it's going to be in, like, and who knows, I could be wrong and he could show up every few minutes. But I just thought, I was like, he is going to stop responding, he will have the address, and either he'll show up today at some point, or he'll now be like, I have the address, I can show up at night, I could take her, I could do whatever. And her mom's not home. So you would think he flaked and he comes back tonight when you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Nothing is happening. Quiet. Then all of a sudden we got a message. Hey boys, this is a weird guy. Showed up. Staying in front of the house. Looking straight to the front door. And just watching and listening. Don't go to your windows. Don't do fucking anything stupid. Don't be loud. Chill. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. There was a side door to the house, but you could still see it from the street. So it's not like we could like sneak out unseen. And with Connor sitting in the car for most of the day, we're on walkie talkies with him. So he's letting us know of anything that he sees that's suspicious or whatever. And he's letting us know many times when he would see someone pass the house multiple times or walk by slowly 
or if you saw the same car around the block multiple times, and that kept happening. So I'm in the car and I'm, I'm looking for everything. I'm looking like, there was a group of people, right? And they, they walked the block like, you know, fucking five, six, seven times. And it was this group of three people. I think they're, they're probably just innocent, just walking. I mean, it is like Glendale. It's a nice little neighborhood, good community. I think they were just doing their normal Sunday stroll. But I was watching everybody and I didn't trust anybody. Connor did see a guy that was just kind of standing out in the rain in front of the house that we think is a very good possibility that Freddie was there. I have no doubt that he wouldn't have come by. I just didn't think he was gonna show up to the house. Doesn't change how terrified you are. I, I put money on the fact that multiple predators from, from day two actually did show up. We just didn't know. If um, he never gonna show up, but he will continue talking to you, Maybe we can schedule him for next time, you yeah. know, like, like, hey, me and my mom, we're going on vacation or whatever, I will be back, you know, in one week. And we fly you again, put it again, and do it again, and fucking bust him. Well, because these kind of guys, yeah. they must go in prison yeah. immediately. I, I, I agree, and I, I, I say... until like 1.15 then, and then we'll call it off? Well, I would say... Because now we're going to have two guys with our addresses. I know, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that was going to be my point, is... The whole time, even if we do call it off on him, yeah. we have to he's assume still, this he, one. He he's still here. He's still here. He will he be will, he will still around. Yeah. No, so, it's okay. Let him. I mean, we have to go about our day, but I think that it, if we call it off, he'll still be around, and he's yeah. still gonna watch it, and then he'll know this. And he'll know this. Yeah. yeah. That's up to yeah. you guys. Yeah. Let's do like this. Let's turn them off. Check the battery status because the next Eric, it's at two thirty, and we can push until three o'clock. We cannot call it all 40 people, and they have our addresses, so let's yeah. stall as, as long as we can. Um, but he, he, didn't, he ended up showing up. Once he cut contact, that was it. So for us, the rest of the night, we just needed to be very aware that this person um, has the address, and he could be around at any point. So we really started using side doors, limiting who came and went uh, in and out of the house, um, because we, after a point, had to say, all right, well, Freddy's awash. We have to be on the lookout for him. And something spooked him, something something resonated in his fucking stupid ass. He didn't make a move. So he vanished, he disappeared. There definitely was a point midday where multiple predators had the address. And that's because like we want it, we want to stagger them and do them one at a time. But when you give one an address at 11 a.m. and they're supposed to be there at noon and it's 1.30 and they're not here yet, you got to kind of move on. You got to try to, I mean, we're burning money here too, not, not to mention just from the, predator perspective, but from the, the content creation and the investment of making this happen, it's like, well shit, we have to move forward. We have to give the address to a second one that's waiting on the hook, ready to show up, even if it's not the one that we originally wanted. At, at one point, it was like when all these, it was the same thing, right? All these, like we give the address to somebody, they'd all go unresponsive. That was like, yeah, fuck that, man. Fuck that. As soon as they have the address, it's like they get a lot more dodgy, 
they get a lot less responsive, they start acting a lot creepier because they're in charge in a, in a sense. It's like, well, now I know where you live, I can show up anytime. And you can feel that dynamic in the communication. At least I did third, uh, secondhand watching Courtney deal with this. <laughs> The beauty of Courtney and um, predator baiter community is that everybody is doing decoy, right? Everybody like, hey, can you do this in this state? I'm here, can you do this? So everybody has a group chat, everybody is talking. We only give the address of the sting house when it's like, okay, hey baby, I'm ready, come, mama out of town, I'm ready for you. Do you still see the guy out there? Is he still standing out there? He was just standing watching the street for a long ass time. Now he's walking uh, past the house now. He's kind of standing out front of the front door towards the bottom of the street though. Yeah, he's still out there. That's one of our guys for sure. If you're not sure, as soon as we walk out, I'll say what's your name. You know, and he'll hopefully say one of those two names. So how about I'm just not in the room? Yeah, it's yeah. better if, if it's Freddie, then maybe if he asks about me, just say you left. I can. You, you can say I left, or I can pop out of somewhere. Okay. Well, let's go. Yeah, but are you all set here? Yeah. Yeah, he's just standing on the corner now. Yeah, he's still standing there. He's on the corner. Yeah, I don't know. He just literally just standing here. He's not doing anything. Just keeps looking around. He says uh, he's just standing there, not doing anything. He just keeps looking around. So weird. Connor, can you take a picture of the guy with your cell phone and send it to me, please? Of course, now we have two guys coming. No, no, no. Um, Courtney, if they, huh? if one guy is here and the other guy shows up, we're just gonna open the door and let him in, and we'll have them both here. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have them both here, two at once. Yeah. 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 The only thing gonna be sucks if a uh, cop's gonna arrive and then you guys gonna see. Up the street a little bit. Say, copy that. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's see. So he's facing the truck. He's, uh, yeah, that's my car right there. So this is the house right here. So mm -hmm. he was hanging out by that truck. Way. Yeah. Fucking grinding. <laughs> Talk, Hunter. I'm texting. 
Freddie right now. Let me know if that guy looks up his phone. Connor, um, Courtney is going to text Freddie right now, see if this guy starts uh, to do anything with his phone. Text it. He said he's, he walked up out of his view. Okay. Oh. He's out past the apartment complex. Copy that. The moment he comes back this way, let me know. Tony's still on the way. people that has the address for this location yeah yeah you want to stay here tonight no. <laughs> <laughs> um we give it like five more minutes ten more minutes and get domino over here i guess cool domino whatever come on you that's i am still gonna find the free one yeah took some more right i'm gonna be here just be like hey my aunt left what, what are you doing well I mean, we've been trying all day to, you know, yeah. have six people, and we can't control it, so, that was all. Eric, Eric, the second guy, he's, he's coming. Um, oh. Right Apparently, now. the guy that, yeah. uh, said he has sex with 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds. Okay. Okay. Of course, everybody gonna show up at the one time, at the same time. Three creeps knocking on the door. Are you for this? Yes, I am. I really think Eric is gonna come because he said because he was so sad, but he's like, "You took too long. I'm going to my friends now. Maybe I'll be free later." And he is free now, so. But let's move on to Eric because he's also now waiting to still come over. Sent out the address again to Eric, who played a whole different set of games.
because Eric was supposed to come again. He was back on the hook on Sunday. He was the one that said, I'm out. Ha I'm outside. I don't want to come in. I don't want to get out in the rain. Can you come out here? Will you come get in the car? He was the one that we were waiting and waiting and waiting for. He was playing games. <laughs> Seven and eight. Oh. Huh. What's up? What? He said, be naked when I answer the door. Oh my God. Who said that? Eric, the guy called. <laughs> Why don't you tell him to be naked when you answer the door? How about you get a... Oh my God. Why don't you, why don't you say, take off your clothes on the porch and we can get him in here naked. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? In the, in the front? Knock, <laughs> knock. Maybe, maybe skin just... Pretend like we're gonna, but don't. Yeah, that's what I mean. Tell him to do it. Oh. And then she answers the door. He's already naked. What's he gonna do? Oh, He's gonna okay. come in. He's gonna have a seat. You know? <laughs> Be naked. Who talks like this? <laughs> Without even seeing a person once in your life, you Be said, Be naked. naked. You can just say, you can tell him you're going to, and then just say, I chickened out when you open the door. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'll get naked in here, but first I want some pizza. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> With another one? And there's a, on the porch, he can get naked. There's like a little fence area. It's green on the porch. And, no one, and then I'll open the door and let him in. Tell him, be like, yeah, there's a little fence on the porch. He can get naked at. <laughs> Wait, are we really going to try to get this guy to Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dude, fuck yeah. Imagine oh, getting right? arrested naked in Glendale. Yes. yes. <laughs> like this? I mean, they'll make him put his <laughs> fucking <laughs> dick hair on. <laughs> I mean, we'll, 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 tell, we'll have, put a towel over his situation. Yeah. And then... Uh, was <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Shoemaker High Heels. Uh, can I... Be like, here, buddy, cover this up and let's talk. <laughs> no, give him a peanuts. Give, <laughs> give him a pistachio to cover his. <laughs> Spotted any white Hondas, any white vehicles at all lingering around? This is more nerve wracking than yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is that a Honda? No. White car there. Look for cars with people in them. Nissan, right? Nissan, Dodge. Maybe try it down the street there. Let's go, let's go down the Dodge. Yeah, across the street maybe. On that side? Yeah. Well, don't get hit by cars. That Honda at two o'clock. It's Toyota, I think. Yeah, there is nothing white anymore in the left. Okay. No. All right. Mamba? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's up. Uh, I'm 13. I, I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, you did mention that. Um, I have, um, I'm a person, I just went to a park last so I have some of the friends that are like, they're supposed to die, and they're like 14, 15, and stuff like that. Are you friends with people my age? Oh, are you thinking of a relationship? Yeah, I'm looking for a boyfriend. I'm just, I'm just kind of scared. I'm gonna get in a relationship with you because, like, are you really your trustworthy person that doesn't even help? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm trustworthy. And you don't tell at all? No, I don't tell. Because it's a long time ago when I was like 18 and I got with a girl that's 13. And then we broke up later. She left her trust there and she just told her parents about me and then um, the parents called, called me and all that crazy stuff. Damn, you get in trouble with the cops? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, I ain't no snitch. I'm hoping you are not because, you know, it's not only me that's going to get in trouble, you're going to get in deep trouble with you and all that stuff. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get in trouble. No more TikTok for me. Have you ever had sex before? No. I've, like, made out, Do though. Huh? I've, like, made out, though. You made out? Mm-hmm. Sure, if I go over there, your mom's not going to come around here? No, I was with her earlier at my aunt's, but she was she went to, like, her friend's rehearsal wedding thing. I'm, I don't know what it is. So nobody will show up? No. Like, did they tell you what time they're coming? Who? Like, somebody at your house, because they're not going to just leave you alone. Yeah, I don't need a babysitter. My mom's literally coming back tomorrow. They'll come and everything. Can you send me a picture of you first? Sure. Like, of you, your body? Mm, I'm going to keep my clothes on. Take a sexy picture of you or something. What do you mean, sexy? Your bra on. Mm, no, not till I meet you. Because I want to know you're real. Huh? Not till I meet you. I want to know you're real. Alright. What's that noise? I almost dropped my Red Bull. Well, I'm, I'm kind of, um, just trying. I'm, I'm still thinking because I'm kind of scared a little. Well, you don't have to come. Just the offer's there. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you find a guy. Okay. <laughs> well, you have a good you have a good night. Yeah, you too. Bye. Eh, he's not coming. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. At that dilemma inside of him, you can hear it. Both should heads are both it? heads are both heads are arguing with each yeah. other. <laughs> hey, Junior, should we do it? Ah, fuck! Last time, you thought you were thinking well, we got in trouble. Let's Courtney and Chris were about to fly back the next morning, so we did Courtney's. Beyond the Sting interview, and you're watching her cut into all this in the Sting house that night while the house was hot. When you're watching Courtney cut to it now or whatever, uh, we're all sitting in a hot Sting house as she's talking in that interview, which was interesting. Um, but you know, we didn't really have any other option. Uh, so Sunday, you know, we we'd given out the address to a few different people. Uh, we've had people play different ver a variety of games with us, um, and none of them showed up at least at the door. Whether they showed up around the property, who knows? But we're like, okay, it's come to a point. Uh, security's left for the night because they had a hard out, um, and so we wrapped up, did our interviews, did our stuff, wrapped up. Um, as I was getting ready to pick up, I was going to drive Courtney and her DP Chris back to their hotel. I pulled up with my car and I happened to look and notice a guy walking on his own up the sidewalk going down the street opposite side. And it was like just, I was very, very, very sensitive to my surroundings because I knew that these people still had this address. So I kind of just made note of him. He had a hat on, raincoat, still raining. Um, Courtney and them came out, went and dropped them back at their place. I had to come and we wanted to still pack up equipment, wanted to help the guys. So I get back, go in, get the equipment packed up, and we are on the porch right before we're heading out. And that same guy walks past the house, out of our eye shot a little bit, turns his head, kind of looks and keeps walking. And of course we get our rock star, Sean, yelling, Freddy! Just, just in case. But honestly, it was it was very much like a weird vibe that I felt like it very much could have been him still just going out the house, um, just looking looking at it, um, checking it out. And then that's that's where it got scary. When you when you give the address of your location to a predator, and then they go unresponsive once they know where you're actually at. That was, that was super concerning. 
one, that day we were we knew we were dealing with some monsters. Freddie, a monster. Eric, a monster. These groomers, like these guys who have obviously been doing this for a while. So we really wanted to catch them. But we weren't aware of the mind games that they were going to play with us that day and how much it affected how we moved, who left the house, when we were rolling. How I mean, we burned so much footage that day just waiting for these guys to come in constant, like, you know, our anxiety is just up. Like, okay, he just texted. He said he's 10 minutes away. Okay, this guy just texted. He said he's five minutes away. This guy said he's looking for parking. And we're all like, <gasps> like, okay, here we go. And by the end of it, nobody showed up. But it was way more intense than, I would say, the first two predator situations combined. Regardless of the struggles and hiccups today, guys, every fucking single one of you killed it. I'm so happy to be on this team, and I love each and every one of you. And so applause to every single every one, one of you. Of you. Yes. Thank you, thank you for flying all the way from different states for trusting us. And freaking Glendale Police Glendale Department. Glendale Police Department. Glendale. 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 We We're will, coming back. We will be back. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm not a parent, so I can't tell you what to do. But if you have kids, please take an active role in what apps they're using and who they're talking to online. It really doesn't take much for a child's life to be scarred or ruined forever. We're all about exposing online pitfalls and protecting the vulnerable on this channel, so if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to Trilogy Media. We're almost to a million, which is fucking awesome. We'd be there already if y'all just use your fingers. Click it. Just kidding. Kinda. And keep yourself and your family safe while browsing the internet at guard.io slash trilogy. You can't watch everything your family does online all the time. But Guardio can. They do real-time scanning of everything you click on or download to make sure there's nothing harmful. And do the seven-day free trial because as soon as you get it in the dashboard, you get a free health scan of your browser. You can do that right now. The video's over. If you've had your email address for more than like a couple of years, then I can almost guarantee you you're going to be shocked by how many data leaks you've been involved in without even knowing. Guardio will identify it and help you fix it at guard.io slash Trilogy. And head over to Trilogy Plus to watch the full episode of Beyond the Sting, dropping this Friday, March 17th, and see the full interviews from the team about the entire weekend. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.